Hello, everybody. You are looking at Ms. Karen Jacobs. And Karen, what are we going to do today? Today we're going to have a run through of the RHD Research Excellence app, which is a new app that the OGR and the Centre for Innovation, Learning and Teaching have developed for all of our research high degree students and supervisors to manage their milestones and also to upload their thesis, to submit their thesis at the end. But today we're focusing on milestones. So this is incredibly exciting because this is really an opportunity to run an entire candidature with transparency online. That's right. And you can find the link to the Research High Degree Research Excellence app, yes. or as we're calling it, RHD Research Excellence, Yes. on the OGR RHD Milestones page. Yes. Gold box Is this the golden top. ticket? Right, so the golden ticket. We're on our, so we're on our graduate research program. You click that beautiful gold button. That's right. Right there. So are you going to do this in real time, Karen? I will. There click. And then you'll have to log in. Obviously, my computer remembers me, which is yes. nice. Yes, great. And it comes up, and because I've logged in as myself, it's telling me as a student, I'm pretending to be a student today. Yes, you were a student though. You I were was, a Flinders student, one yes. Time, that I'm doing my confirmation of candidature. And right. you'll see here that it's telling me that I can create my milestone. And the data that's here telling me that my milestone's due on the 4th of April this year right. has come from information that the faculty has entered about my stage of candidature. Great. If I wanted to submit, obviously my submission date's not till 2020, but when I'm ready right. to submit, I can click that button. If I'd like to look at some information about myself as a student, I can click on the My Details tab. Fantastic. This oh, is fantastic. You're my supervisor. Am I? You've got an outstanding supervisor, Karen. So this is great. So basically everything is on one screen that you'd need for the entirety of your candidature, That's really. That's right. So you can have a look through here, and this is the first release, but over time there will be more information that will pop up on this window. Right. For example, it will tell me in the future a key dates tab here, and it will tell me what my next milestone dates are. So right. that I so can in plan Plan your candidate. So in real time, you're going to click that in, so I'm going to watch um, you click in. Create milestone. Create milestone. And then it tells me here about my project. My thesis title tells me about how I can check out the information about the milestone um, requirements. No, lovely. Some information for both of us about, I have to go over here to the right to edit the version of the milestone document I'm doing. Oops, so That's edit right. version, there we go. Um, obviously I'm fully abreast of the RHD milestones because I helped the OGR implement them at the institutions, but it, at the institution rather. Yep. But it tells us here about what I need to do. So before I get to this point of um, going through the milestone documentation. Yes. I need to make sure that I've prepared my reports. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> prepared my reports for my supervisor with any evidence, so chapters or literature review, research proposal. This is my first one, so it's probably those things that I'm looking for. But down the track, it would be um, a chapters or conference papers or things like that. So, so Karen, just to check, so yes. the student goes in first. This is an interactive system. The student goes in first, puts in... The, their story of their That's PhD right. and then the supervisor comes in after looks at that commentary and offers further advice. That's right and then that way so be, as you, everyone knows from the information we've provided before it is a replacement to the annual review of progress so yes. it's much more a conversation piece than the annual re review of progress or the ARP used to be so that it's particular to the stage of candidature but also as you said I can put my input in about how I think my research is going and then the supervisor can comment. That's terrific. That. And all of it is about backward mapping. If I can just put in the andragogical Absolutely. moment, Karen, it's about backward mapping and it's about saying to complete in three years, say three and a half, but say three years, yes. uh, what, where do I need to be at the end of the first year? Where do I need to be at the end of the second? So this, was a, this right. is a backward mapping exactly. app. So, so here we go. We were at the confirmation. That's yes. right. So I can, I can put any text matching... Um, evidence in about any chapters that I've written so that as you go through then it becomes a progressive tool as well for, for learning and to make sure that your chapters are just exactly as they should be as they're going through. Terrific. In recording ethics approval, professional development activities, um, any resources that I might need um, and obviously moving forward into further reviews reflecting on professional development and what else I need to do to oh, that's terrific. fix myself up. So if we start the process by clicking on edit this version Yes. And that opens up a secondary window. Ooh. There we go. It's always good when it works in so real the time, important, Karen. So the important, it does, that's right. <laughs> the important things here are to just make sure that you read these instructions about um, 
exiting and with saving and so forth. So Okay, just go, there's the big save, save button team. Yes. So as you're going through, every time you add something, you can click save and to continue and it will just progressively save, like, for example, any word processing package. Terrific. Um, you can click save and exit to exit out of it. The important thing is that as you go through, you don't ever submit for moderation because that's something that your supervisor does. So, Got it. Um, while you're working in this, it's in draft form so that you're, you can just come back to it multiple times and work through the document. So if you've got something you want to add in, just log in, add it in, come back away, then keep working on whatever it is you're doing and then you have a brain bubble and you want to put that in, just log in and do it. So again. that's a great example. Say, for example, you've got a proposal or you've got a document that you've actually put through, turn it in yep. as a check that might be five months into the candidature, you can actually Upload load it. that in and in real long, time. That's right, and it just saves in draft until you click this section here, which is the student sign-off, Tara. That says where's, where's that? Oh, there here. it is there. Yep. Got it? So that you can you need to make more changes. As long as you have that little radio button ticked, it's in draft form. That's so terrific. as soon as you tick on my input is ready. Um, it'll obviously tell you if there are um, bits that are missing, but also that then indicates to your supervisor that it's okay for them to go through and to make their commentary. That's excellent. All right, so it's also just in advising us to go through and read all of this. This is at the end where I'll upload my progress reports, but we'll come back to that. Yes. So importantly, this information is what's recorded on the student system at the university about me as a student. All right. Um, so my name, ID, my fan. I don't have a school at this stage, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> thesis title, when I'm expected to submit who my supervisors are and about my enrolment details. So and, and that's good because it's a check on the way through right. that data is actually accurate and that matters because if there is something yep. wrong, you then can fix it early on. Just get in touch with your faculty admin person. So that's just a link out to their contact details if you don't know how to contact them already. Lovely. So to navigate through, you can either use this square box on the side. Oh, I love this. All this of is the requirements. That's terrific. And all of those are HTML, so you can link straight through right. that way. Excellent. Or you can use the little progression buttons down the bottom. Brilliant. Great, so Brilliant. let's have a go at putting in some information. Right, so what are we doing now? We're going to go to professional development, either from, from Which here. one are you going to use? Can you use that one? Or I'll use that one. There you go. Make it use that one. Cool for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Together we'll get there. We'll get there, yes. So the important thing for the student is that at this stage, the basic main questions are about your professional development and your resources. Yes. You can provide input to all the other questions that your supervisor will be asked. So it's, if you've got something to say about a particular topic, it's probably worthwhile to add that information in Lovely. There. So let's have a go at just looking through Brilliant. the form. So here are the questions. Have I completed any professional development activities since my last review? And I'm going to say yes. Woo! And because I've prepared this earlier, I'm just going to copy some information But that's across. important. You click yes and then a magic box appears. And that's right, exactly. So you can just type in there and you can put lists and so forth. But and I've, it is formatted. That's almost like a formatted email. That's, that's great. Right. But I have just pre-prepared some information. So I've just asked there for in vivo training and, no, and that I've said that I've presented a paper at a conference. So that's Terrific. what I've done in the last six months, let's say. Um, do I require additional educational training? And yes, I do. Um, You're perfect, Karen. So you don't need anything. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> um, so here again, I've prepared this a bit earlier. Um, because I need to do some data analysis, uh, sorry, analysis on my data collection, I'll need some statistical training. So just flag to people um, that I can then look at perhaps the RHD, PDP when the next one comes so up. So the supervisor can match you up that's right, with, with those goals. That's great. If I've got any information here I want to add, I just would add it here. But so at this could, point, I, I was trying to think what that could be. So that could be, for example, Karen, like a certificate or, it could be. or something that confirms learning's been taken. So if you did the micro learning as part of LinkedIn, for example. That's right, you could add a, you could add a certificate, certificate down there as an attachment. That's right. That's it's, terrific. It's really about creating that portfolio of learning for, for our students. Magnificent. So if we well, then navigate through, button. we'll just go to resources now. We'll mention this resources. So what are resources? So resources, they're not only financial, but they can be about facilities or supervision and those sorts of things. So um, obviously when a candidate is or student is submitted, uh, sorry, not submitted, admitted to candidature, yes. The faculty and school do a lot of checks to make sure that they can actually um, look after the project in terms of um, how much the project might cost. So um, it's not necessarily financial, sometimes it can be, but bearing in mind that your project has probably been costed at the point of admission. Correct. But this can be about um, supervision and facilities. So for me here, I'm going to say yes I do. Because right, and then we've got the drop down box right, again. Because yep. I um, 
have a busy life and I Good. need somewhere quiet to sit and work, I'm going to add this bit of information in here. Right. It just says I need a quiet space where I can transcribe my interviews and perform my data analysis and we'll see what my supervisor has to say about that. All punters, I think forward. I think there's going to be an interesting rejoiner <laughs> to that right. commentary. Perhaps Let's see what happens. We'll All right. see what yes. happens. So <laughs> just to click through for everybody, we can have a look here at the questions that your supervisor will be asked. So this is also an information package for the supervisor. Right, so we've now moved to the supervisor. So and would the student see this? The student will, can see this now. So any input that I put now is from the student to the supervisor. Got it. When they click my input is finished, then the supervisor will see that information. Terrific. So we'll have a look at that a little bit in a minute. Yes. Um, but this, so it's about asking about your research problem. Or question yes uh, then looking at your plan that you have so oh, if right. you've got if you've got information here that you think will be helpful for your supervisor about what you're planning to do in the next 12 months it's probably worthwhile to put in here so for example if you're going on an overseas trip and you won't be working on your thesis or you will be overseas and you will be working on your thesis just pop it in there and then that way your supervisor can um, you and your supervisor can talk about that. And this is the backward mapping element. That's right. right. Yeah, That's lovely. Exactly. Brilliant. Then some questions here about methodology to just make sure that, um, particularly at this beginning stage of candidature, that you're making sure that you are using the right um, method and data collection. Or if, there is, or if there is a more PD that's required, you yep, pick it up at this that's point. That's right. Excellent. And um, so obviously you and your supervisor would have talked about all of this through your meetings, but also by some of the work that you're submitting for this milestone, for example, your literature review or your research proposal, then some of that information will be embedded in that Superb. as well. Um, so looking at ethics here, I'll just... Oh, this is great. So it asks here about ethics approval. Now, we'll touch on that when we go back to the front screen of the report overview, but at this stage, um, the information are there. I, I do need ethics because obviously I'm doing data collection, but I'll Lovely. give you that information in a minute. Excellent. We then touch on oral communication. So if that I say, this is great, Karen, well, you're literally are just clicking on the sign. I am, and it just pops and up. And moving straight through, and these boxes are there. So that's this right. is oral communication, Or Karen. as I said, you can use the toggle buttons down the bottom. I know you love a bit of a toggle well, word. That's great. Woo, come on. Okay. Um, oral communication, written communication. Oh, uh, there's text matching here, so if there are other chapters and so forth that you need to um, submit, then you can um, put them through the text matching. Oh, the that's excellent. Come up. Now, the goals for the next milestone. Oh, this is the important one, really. Obviously, these I think are probably useful for you as the student to put information in for yeah. your supervisors, so that they are then sort of aware of what you're you're planning. So you're putting in a time so frame. So I'm putting in some information there. What will happen is oh, when excellent. my supervisor, when I've clicked the input, my s input is complete. Yes. Button and my supervisor is able to look at the um, the confirmation of candidature milestone yes. app on the app. Then they'll see this information there and then they can make commentary about that, whether that's realistic or not realistic or any other miles or goals that they would like. Oh, that's excellent. But it's great for the months. student actually to put in their own goals and have a go at that. That's right. And importantly, in 12 months' time, when I do this for my mid-candidature review, these milestones will pre-populate and tell me what I thought I was going to be doing in the last 12 months. My head has just exploded. That's that great, is brilliant, isn't it? Karen. That is brilliant. So this is the end of the supervisor section, but you can add any bits and pieces in there. So, for example, in written communication, I might put in here that um, I find it difficult to um, uh, find time to to do do a block of writing, for example. Oh, excellent! I've got another idea for when I'm a supervisor. So, yes, um, we can put all <laughs> sorts of information in there that you like, and then when you're happy with what's recorded here. Yes. Obviously, as I said before, you can save and continue at any time. When you do save, a little green bar comes up the top just to confirm for you that everything you've done so far has That's saved. great for the paranoid amongst us. Indeed. Excellent. So if you go back to report overview at the top, right. this is where you um, are uploading all the evidence. So <gasps> for example, it's telling me I haven't done things. I haven't done the ethics question. Oh, wow. Um, and I haven't put in any information about my intermission. So. It has some little checks and balances as well. So if you have missed handy. stuff accidentally, the That's world right. doesn't end. You've saved what you've got and you then go in. That's and as right. you can see, if you've missed a bit, it, tells, it you. tells you where you've missed a bit. That's right. So I'm going to say, yes, I have ethics appro approved. 
because obviously I'm doing data collection work, so I'd have to. So mine was from the Social and Behavioural Research Ethics Committee. Of course it was. Um, and uh, who knows what my number is, but let's go with that. And that's a great committee, can I say? Indeed. And I haven't had any intermissions. Because um, you're a good student, Karen. Thank you. Everything's <laughs> going quite well for me right now. So... I now would like to upload my um, report. So, for the example, this could be at the confirmation of candidature stage. Right. My lit review, my research proposal. It might be the beginnings of a chapter. It could be an outline of what I think the thesis is going to be. Tara, do you think there's anything else? At no, this it's, stage? it's it's that sort of document. So, a lit review proposal, something that sh demonstrates the preliminary scope of the work. So, it is a, or like a word document or a PDF. Yes. yes. Does it do a PDF? That's right. Uh, yes, it does. Does both. So, we're going to do both. Um, so what I've done prior to coming in to do my confirmation is that I've put my chapter, if you like, which is actually the um, milestone proposal to Academic Senate, I've put that through Turnitin, um, which oh, is available wow. on the Flow site, um, the Research High Degree Candidates Flow site. So I've got yes. my document I want to upload and also my um, Turnitin report just sitting there on my desktop. This is terrific. So now I would choose Add a Resource so under my green progress. Green button. Oh! And you can either browse for it, or very simply, you can just drag and drop. I love the drag and drop. And you can drag and drop as many documents as you need. And it, you've explained to me it's not a bin, it's a box. No, it's a box. It's a box. That's right. It's a box. Exactly. So um, it's worthwhile to make the documents, the titles meaningful that you're uploading. So it's got your surname in it and what it is. Um, and so I probably should have put text matching because this is the actual text matching report of that one. But in hindsight... You know, Hindsight's 20 Wonderful thing. Yep. Um, and you can keep adding as you go through. Oh, that's um, excellent. So that's terrific. And they just and show they up here. Oh. If, if, for example, you've done this in draft form, so let's yes. just save and continue for a bit longer. Yes. If you've done this in draft form and then you leave it for a week and you've made some enhancements to your research proposal, you can come in and go back to that area and you can replace or delete or add another document. That is amazing. Someone. That's brilliant. Great. So now I think, I've just double-checked everything, I think I'm now ready to say to my supervisor, yes, my input. And so none of the weird red boxes are going to appear? None of, well, I've yes, just saved oh, it, green. so no red boxes. Exactly, it's happy with me. Yes. Uh, so now I'm going to say my input for the milestone meeting is complete. So this, what this means oh. is that prior to... It's just there. I've got it. Um, this is perhaps prior to my oral presentation at the school level or yes. the faculty college level, so um, I'm just providing all of my evidence to my supervisor so that when um, they review it but also when they've I've done my presentation they can then make their contribution to the milestone document and then I'll get to see it again as a student what my supervisor has said and sign off on, on it before Terrific. it goes to my um, research high degree coordinator that's um, responsible for my area. So this is really full transparency too that's which right. is great students right. and supervisors empowered. Yep. So, Fantastic. So um, I'm going to click my input for the milestone is ready. And so now it tells me that there's a sign off. Yes, that's complete. That my reports have been uploaded. And then some of this other information just comes in a bit so neater there. That's lovely. So then I need to save an exit. Save an exit. And it's important not to submit it for moderation because that's moderation means that it's at the end stage. And that's what you would do when it's um, going to the research. So what does the degrees. student do? Save, save draft. draft. Now that's important, team. So save an exit and save draft. Because I, I was heading for the green button. I'll just say that to you, that's Karen. Okay. That's so the right. student, save draft. Yes, because what we're really doing now is providing this as a draft document for your supervisor to then go and add their commentary. Lovely. So where, uh, where are we going now? We well, now now I just need to grab a new web address to go and become a supervisor. Okay, so do we do we pause the film and commence the next film or well, do we keep probably going? Now that I've done that as well, I might quick send an email to my supervisor or meet them in the corridor or give them a phone call or however you communicate with them best and just say my confirmation of candidature is ready for you to go and have a look so at. So for the students, Karen, you've done incredibly well. Students, that's Thank all you. you have to do, guys, and you'll get to see a different version of this again. So I'll now stop this and Karen is about to become a supervisor. Yay! Thank you, Karen. Thank you.